Welcome to our lesson on profit and loss accounts. Here we'll uncover the significance and components of this vital financial statement, helping businesses to gauge their financial performance. Let's dive in. You might have heard of financial statements and how essential they are for businesses. These documents shed light on the economic position and health of a company. Among these statements, the profit and loss account stands out as a critical tool for enterprises. So, what exactly is a profit and loss account? Picture it as a report card that details how much a business has earned and how much it has spent over a specific time frame. Simplified, it boils down to the formula. Profit equals revenue minus costs. When we say a P&L account comes a specific time frame, what do we mean? Well, that varies. It can be an annual overview reflecting a financial year's performance or a monthly account detailing a particular month's achievements and setbacks. Why are profit and loss accounts so crucial? It's simple. They offer a snapshot of a company's financial health. By comparing them over similar durations, you can spot trends, measure growth or decline, and evaluate the effects of operational changes. Now let's delve deeper into what makes up a profit and loss account. Generally, this account is presented as a table, with labels on the left and figures on the right. Occasionally, there might be extra columns comparing multiple financial periods. Here are the main components you'll come across. Revenue. Think of this as the income the business brings in, primarily through sales of products or services. Cost of sales. These are the direct costs linked with producing or delivering what the business sells, like materials or production staff wages. Gross profit. It's what remains after deducting the cost of sales from the revenue. It's a metric indicating production efficiency. Expenses. These are the operational costs not directly tied to the product or service creation. They encompass items like office rent, marketing efforts, and staff salaries not involved in production. And net profit. This is the bottom line. It's the total profit or loss after all costs and expenses are deducted from the revenue. So, in this table you can see we have revenues totaling £100,000 and cost of sales totaling £20,000. This gives us a gross profit of £80,000, as gross profit is revenues minus cost of sales. After this, we have our expenses which total £40,000. This gives us a net profit of £40,000, as net profit is gross profit minus expenses. In conclusion, a profit and loss account is a financial statement that summarizes the company's revenues and costs over a given period of time. This will show what profit or loss the business has made over this period. A profit and loss account will include revenue, cost of sales, gross profit, expenses, and net profit.